Hi everybody, Beanmeister22 here. Today we're going to look at our Sabrent USB Type-C Dual 3.5, 2.5 inch SATA and RAID docking station. This docking station is similar to the 4-bay Sabrent docking station. We made that video about a while ago. And the difference isn't just that it has two bays instead of four. If you're not familiar with these types of docking stations, they allow you to take internal hard drives and use them as an external hard drive. I'm currently using the Western Digital 8TB WD Red Plus hard drives. Sadly, they are out of stock on Amazon and only sold by third-party retailers now. Hopefully that will change because Amazon sells them for about $148. The third-party retailers are selling them for $180. If you're only interested in 6TB hard drives, the Western Digital 6TB WD Red Pluses are still in stock on Amazon, and they're around $140. So $10 less, but also 2 terabytes less of storage. The thing you need to know about using an internal hard drive as an external hard drive, there's not a whole lot of savings when it comes to cost per terabyte. This pile of Seagate portable 5 terabyte external hard drives that I have are currently selling for $120. With these 8 terabytes at about $150, 30 more dollars, 3 more terabytes. So your cost, it's not necessarily a cost issue. It's a data storage issue. For all of our benefit, I'm just going to keep this simple. This is a two-bay trade docking system, which allows you to take an internal hard drive and use it as an external hard drive. It's important you understand this one little fact. I didn't necessarily understand it when I purchased this because my first purchase was that Sabrent 4-Bay Trailist Docking Station. Which with that, if you go back and watch the video, I'll just tell you this. The difference is you took that, you just slid the hard drives in there, bam, you're done. This has a tray. You need to take the hard drive, put it in there, and then you need to take the screws included with the system I need to anchor it down in the tray, otherwise it will not work. I learned that the hard way because when I first tried to use this, I just set the hard drive in the tray, slid it in there, and got nothing. So yeah, I should have read the instructions or watched an instructional video at Sabrin's website. This is currently selling for $149.99, so about $150, overnight delivery on Amazon. I ordered this in the afternoon, and I got it the next day. I was very happy with that. And it was the next morning, not just the next day. Let's talk about what I like about this unit. It has two different card readers and a USB port on the front. And the most important reason I got this is it has a fan cooling system. So in the back there's this fan and it blows air on it to keep your hard drives cool as you're using them, just like your computer. Unlike that single bay docking station we looked at, the Sabrin ECKS L3, which has no cooling whatsoever. This will allow you to use your hard drives longer without worried about heating issues. Very important. Now there's four different RAID modes with this docking station and it's kind of interesting, kind of neat, but it can also be kind of confusing. In the RAID 0 mode, it's a non-redundant data storage system. It's going to view both of the hard drives here as a single unit. So it's just going to put the data on either of them as it wants to, as it sees fit. The benefit of this is it increases your performance, and it says it increases performance dramatically. It allows it to put the data where it best sees fit to go as fast as it needs to go. Both hard drives, so both 8 terabyte hard drives I'm using, will be used as a single 16 terabyte hard drive. In order for this to work, both the hard drives you have in there need to be the exact same size. So if I have a 6 terabyte hard drive and an 8 terabyte hard drive, it's only going to view it as a 6 terabyte hard drive. It will default to the lowest size. So your 6 terabyte and your 8 terabyte isn't going to give you 14 terabytes of storage. It's only going to give you 12. In RAID 1 mode, and this is a very cool feature in my opinion, your data is written to both hard drives simultaneously. So at the same time. So it's duplicating your data. They say there's no performance increase when you do this. Well, of course not, because you're just writing the same data twice on two different hard drives. It doesn't say there's a performance decrease, but I wouldn't be surprised if there was. But it's good for duplicating your data or if you want to duplicate a hard drive for backup purposes. 
This next mode is the mode that I use it in. It's the large or JBOD or sequential mode. It also looks at both hard drives as a single unit, but what it does is it fills up one hard drive. When it's full, it just moves on to the next automatically. You don't get that pop-up that says, hey, you're out of storage. I hate that. And they give you the warning in their owner's manual as well as on their website that it does not increase performance, nor does it provide, and I quote, nor does it provide any safety. I'm currently content to use it in this mode because it will save me hard drive space, but also I am using this as a backup. I'm still storing some stuff on my Seagate portable five terabyte external hard drives, and I got a bunch of them as well as I store certain things on the computer. So this is just a backup. I'm not using this for primary data storage. If I was, I would certainly be making a duplicate. And lastly, there's clear mode. It's not much different than the large mode. It views both hard drives as independent units, which means when one's full, it's not automatically going to start writing your data to the other one. So here's what I don't really like about this system. It's a trade system, unlike that four bay trailer system we have. You really, really, really need to anchor the hard drive in the tray with the screws they provide. If you've ever had a trailer system, I mean, that's a big pain in the butt. But if you've never had a trailer system before, oh, that's just normal, right? It's a USB C connector. Horrible, and that's a personal preference thing. And really quick, since I didn't have a USB-C type connector on my computer, I tried using a standard USB to USB-C cable, and it did not work. And since it didn't come with that type of cable, I had to go back to my 4-bay trailer system and steal the Sabrent cable off of that. So I need to order a specific cable for this item. It doesn't come with one. Something I'm showing in this video, the bays are specific. There's one that goes on top and there's one that goes on bottom. If you don't put them in the right slot, it ain't going to fit and you're not going to know why. But even with those things I don't like, this is still a very good unit because of its price point. $150 gives you access to multiple hard drives simultaneously. Not as good as the four bay system, but definitely better than that single one we have where you only insert one hard drive at a time into it and then plug it to your computer. This allows you to have two hard drives. So for most applications, two of these hard drives is certainly a viable answer. Although I would say if you're going to spend $150 on this with the current price of $199.99 for a four-bay trailer system, why not just throw that extra $50 bucks in there and get the trailer system with four bays? As noted, that's a sale price on Amazon. I paid $229.99, so I paid $230, which is $80 more than this. You may not want to spend $80 for that convenience. $50? I'd definitely spend $50 for that convenience. Unless you're never going to have a need for a 4-bay system. Currently, my 4-bay system only has two hard drives in it, and two of the bays are sitting empty. Although that will change when I purchase more hard drives for that. All right, what do you think? Did you know something like this existed? For most people, this is a happy medium between the single bay ECKS L3 for about $30 and the four bay trailer system for around $200, $230. This is right there in the middle. And as I said, to be able to take internal hard drives and turn them into external hard drives, I mean, that's just amazing, right? All right, so leave your comments in the comment section. As always, thanks for watching. Beanmeister22, the most dangerous man on YouTube.